Hey there. A YouTuber named Ice Age Heatwave pointed me towards a commercial for Shia Moisture that has a rather interesting and somewhat frustrating message, and I wanted to point it out. We just have been conditioned to go to the corner and find our spot where we've been placed. Well, one thing I'd love to have is their steady cam they're using in this commercial, but have you ever tried to find a left-handed ergonomic wired mouse or a left-handed ergonomic wired trackball? There is a section called ethnic. Oh no. Ethnic. And there is an aisle called beauty. If you go to Walgreens, there's a section that has women's earplugs. To be honest, we've dealt with it our whole lives to the point of internalizing it. I have curly hair. Very curly hair. To find products that work well in my curly hair when my hair is long, I usually have to go to the ethnic section. I'm glad that it's sectioned off. I'm glad that I don't have to search through tons and tons and tons of products for typically straight hair just to finally find what I need. I like the fact that it's a separate section. It's easier for me. It's easier for you. What's the problem? Oh, the label that got chosen. It says ethnic. That must mean ugly. No, it doesn't. Do I feel like I'm beautiful? Is ethnic not beautiful? I think ethnic is beautiful. But I'm kind of biased. I also think really weird colored hair is beautiful. I think it's cool. I think it's neat when someone has their hair match their makeup. I think that's cool. But you don't typically find that in the beauty section. You have to go to the weird section. Is that not beautiful? When I go to the beauty aisle, I feel secluded and out It's been place. frustrating. It's, this is just the way it is. How can I break down those walls? By using telekinesis and vandalizing a store, I guess. Every time I pull a curl, a store shelf dies. We are Shea Moisture, and now we can be found in the beauty aisle, where we all belong. Look, if, if this is the kind of shit that you're going to complain about, how about this? How about this is the answer? In the beauty section, you have everything broken apart into different hair types. Would that make you happy, or would you still be upset over that? I think you'd still be upset over that because, oh, separate but equal. But it is separate but equal. Why does that upset you? Why do you want to be in the same exact category as, as mundane white people? Why? What is this obsession that some people have with, I need to be normal, I need to be normal, I don't want to be abnormal. Ab abnormal is fun. Normal is boring. Normal is mundane. Normal can be pretty lame. And yet, at the same time, some of the same people who are complaining about this are going, Well, I'm a special snowflake. I'm a special snowflake. But I'm normal. But I'm a special snowflake. Make up your mind. Are you normal or are you a special snowflake? I mean, you, you want to complain on both sides. I think this sort of thing is bullshit. Okay? I mean, if these products weren't available for you at all, that would be something to complain about. But the stuff's available. Oh, but it says ethnic. That must mean ugly. Come on now. Stupid.